The Thor versus Eddie Hall fight is in the rearview mirror, but you guys ripped Eddie Hall a new one in my comment section. He was button smashing. All he did was throw one punch. He should have trained proper boxing. You guys are ruthless. But one Strangle Gang member suggested checking out a sparring footage of Vidal Riley versus Eddie Hall. Now this was just released a few days ago, and to be quite frank, I wasn't really familiar with who Vidal Riley was until now. Did a little research for once. So to be clear, Vidal Riley is a professional boxer. So how heavy are you? I'm 91 kg. I don't really think I'm... Don't know what that is. I'm actually excited. I, I watch Eddie's progress as well. I do a lot of reactions. You get me a lot of yeah, views. Shout out to reactions. Yeah. You get me a lot of views on the channel, so I really got love for you. And um, yeah, it's just to, it's good to actually be here and be able to get some work in, so I'm excited. I like this guy. <laughs> So as you can see, he's still using that right hand, that sort of lunging right hook, drops his right hand back to his hip, and left hand placement's poor. We can see it's underneath his chin, and he's kind of straightening up, erecting as he pulls back, pause. But, you know, it's not something that, you know, he was fixing and training, as we can see. So in the fight, it manifested itself. Oh, that's a hard jab. <laughs> yeah, that's a professional boxing jab. You saw that reaction? Stop me around, man. That's sparring for you, man. Vidal's got to pull back. Oh, and he lands a fucking left straight right in the same eye. Vidal, you're ruthless, man. You got to use a little bit more actual techniques. Beautiful jab in the southpaw position. Vidal light on his toes, moving around beautifully. Good side to side move with his head. Pulls back, counters with the hook. Beautiful. Lead left straight. Just, you know, like I said, those legs are, are built for boxing, so it's, it's going to be hard for Eddie. I mean, this is a small ring, too, so it's in favor, in theory, of the bigger, stronger brawler. But, uh, you know, Eddie felt a few of those jabs. I don't think he's looking to really get disrespect, disrespect them anymore. I think Vidal will start letting them work a little bit. Ooh, hard. Just look at the power this guy has he throws a left straight right hook usually that combination is used as a counter man what power this dude has that's the thing about Vidal and why Vidal has to keep him honest because when a big guy like that hits you hard even if you're a better boxer he could break a rib he can you know chip a tooth he, you know what I mean he, he can do damage to you good feint see what that feint did so if you look, Vidal faints and you notice Eddie Hall's hands, that the alteration and dropping of his hands. Now Vidal makes that connection in his head and he goes, oh, I know now when I faint him, that left hand's gonna drop. So I can come over the top of the right hook, you know, just giving you an example. So, you know, he's, it's called making reads and, and Eddie's not really privy to it, right? He's very bare bones. He's just going forward, trying to land that big right hook. I'd like to see him use his backhand a little bit more. There he is. But just lunging, you know? <laughs> So let me just give you guys a behavioral detail. So what happened is Eddie Hall is going ham with the offense. You get a laugh from Riley, <laughs> you know, being respectful. Like that would have been some shit. And then what does Riley do? Right away, he comes back and chips at him. Bong, bong, sharp punches going forward. And that's to tell Eddie, I'm letting you live right now. Riley is really just letting Eddie Hall rock, letting him work, you know, not crushing his confidence, but also landing clean shots. Look, see the left lead is touching. Very Muhammad Ali-esque in terms of how he's throwing the left lead and squaring up. Round four. See, I like that. See, I like that offense from Hall there. He comes in with a short, snappy right hook left hand. And he pulls back in a straight line, allowing Riley to come out of the corner. And he has his lead arm down by his hip like he's Mayweather in his prime. It's unfortunate to say, but I think it's going to have to be a knockout. A true dead out knockout to help him change that bad habit. Otherwise, he's gonna keep it up. Beautiful. So you see how he grimaces and makes that like tough guy face? See, that's what you don't wanna do. You actually wanna show no emotion. He catches me clean, no emotion. I catch him clean, no emotion. You wanna have a good poker face, first thing you learn in boxing. And look where Riley's hands go. Right back to his face. Steal from that man. That's what you have to do. That's the point of these, these lessons. He lands a good right hand there right but as you can see what is he doing let's look at what he's doing here see how he keeps stepping to his right so essentially he's stepping into riley's power which is the backhand and he's doing what we call following his opponent so you don't want to do that typically you want to cut the, the ring off and that'll shrink the size of the ring so you can start to work your offense being that eddie hall is a bigger guy being that eddie hall is a go forward aggressive brawler type that would be the strategy he would want to employ there but he's following riley around the ring which is allowing Riley to sneak out to either side, typically to his right. Beautiful right hook. Beautiful jab. 
Engage. See, right there, when you're still in range, you don't want to drop your hands. So right there, Riley could ambush him. He's just being cool about it. He knows that he rattled him a little bit. Right there, he can go forward and just literally stop him with a combination. But... Good jab to the chest there. Excellent feint on the outside. Lead arm feints. He was moving his lead arm around. He's bringing his back foot in and out. So he's ready to spring off the ball of his back leg and close the distance with his lead left, lead left hand. Beautiful like that. See? And you can kind of see it with Riley because when, Ry when Riley brings his left foot in towards his right foot, he's closing the gap. It's called cheat stepping. And that's giving him the ability to spring forward and, and land that beautiful left lead like you're seeing here. Just, just clean. And he doubled up on it there. Eddie Hall, Eddie Hall just needs to needs to get his hands up and just get real, real fundamental, man. You can still have these moments when you're blitzing in like that, but interject some decent technique, man. You go a long way. All right, fifth round. Now you're probably thinking it's oh, shakes the arm out. Huh. Someone stated in my comments that he tore his bicep. I know he tore it in the past. I don't know if he tore it here or in the past. I'm not really sure. I can speak from experience. I have two torn biceps, so I know how that feels. I know how to go through a camp with a torn bicep as well. It's horrible. So respect to him. That could be why maybe he's not using his left arm as much because he used it quite a bit in the sparring session. He didn't use it at all in the fight. So I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it. One thing I will say is Eddie Hall has incredible cardio for a guy his size. Incredible. Granted, his volume is very low and he's not really being forced to make any adjustments. And that's really what tires you out when you're forced to go back, when you're forced to use movement. This is just kind of part and parcel to the way that he fights naturally. So I don't think he's being forced to psychologically adjust. So he's not really getting his tired. Keep in mind, he's sparring guy was a fraction of his size in terms of weight. I mean, this is a multiple weight class difference if I'm not, if, if I'm to be correct here. Beautiful, working there, getting off balance. But you know what, listen, we can criticize this technique all we want. You know, a big man with explosive punches and for the amount of time he's been training, right? Pretty damn tough, pretty durable. Yeah, he's exclusively using that right hand, so I don't know if he hurt his, his left arm there. He must have beautiful shot to the sternum there by Riley. Riley putting his punches together now. Oh, that was beautiful. Riley threw the jab, shifted his weight from lead foot to back foot, then came back with the jab again. Just excellent work. Those are beautiful. Feints high, jabs to the body, just clean work. Using that lead arm intelligently there. Fainting the backhand, and then coming with the right shovel. So he fainted the backhand, he got a reaction, which slipped Eddie's head towards the inside, then he hit him with the shovel punch with the right arm. Riley can do what he wants here. I think he's just playing around now. Excellent work. Vidal, this is my first time hearing about you, but a lot of respect for you. I'm impressed by his boxing, his disposition, so I'll, I'll be sure to check out more of his content. And he does reaction stuff, which I think is fun too. Eddie Hall, let's put some respect on that man's name, for God's sakes. He's not a boxer by trade. He's a Strong man slash swimmer. He did great. Tremendous athlete. Strangle gang, I appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And of course, I'll see you in the next one.